Oh, man. Oh, fuck, guys. This is Mr. Josh CJ and Manchester United have lost 10-9 or 11-10 on penalties. My goodness sake. I am absolutely heartbroken. But to be honest, it was an absolute horseshit final. And Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, what the fuck were you doing making substitutions that late? Fuming. Fucking fuming. I really am. This defeat is on Oli Gunnar Solskjaer tonight. Fair play to players. There were some cracking penalties in that shootout, but the pressure got to David De Gea too much, unfortunately. But I'm sorry, this defeat is on Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. And massive questions are going to have to be asked about this. Why the fuck did you leave it so long to make substitutions when Unai Emery made around five, four or five substitutions and Oli Gunnar Solskjaer did not make his substitutions really until about five minutes left of extra time. What's the fucking point in that? Because, you know, Villarreal built momentum and our players are absolutely shattered. I'm sorry. I've defended Oli all season, but I cannot defend Oli on this one. What the fuck is the logic behind it? Why the fuck would you take so long to make substitutions? Furious, absolutely furious. Since De Gea messed up healthy, I switched the team here off. I'm not watching the presentation because I'm not in the mood to. I am just absolutely gutted and heartbroken. But to be honest, we weren't good enough in that match. I gotta say, man of match tonight was Scott McTominay, but as the rest of the team, just we created nowhere near enough. Bruno Fernandes was hardly in the game tonight. Where was he? It's the final in the UEFA Europa League. And he went fucking missing. Shocking. Poor. It is what it is. But I'm gutted. Absolutely heartbroken. I so wanted Oli Gunnar Solskjaer to get his first trophy. But no poor decision making by Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Now... I don't think I can turn myself to Oli out because, you know, at the end of the day, we have secured second place in the league. But will that be enough to satisfy the Glaciers and the outgoing chairman, Edwards Woods? Is Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's contract now under threat? I don't know, but I'm definitely, definitely not Oli out. I cannot turn myself to Oli out. Yes, it hurts, but I'm not going to over-exaggerate. I'm heartbroken, of course I am, but I cannot just draw myself to Oli out. But massive questions have got to be asked. In the final, why in the fuck would you leave it so late to make substitutions? But, oh man, what massive morale booster that would have been if we could have lifted the UEFA Europa League going into next season. But... Nope. And there goes the dream of an all-English UEFA Super Cup final. So it'd be either Villarreal, Man City or Chelsea now in the Super Cup. I would have loved it to be us, but it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, we just weren't good enough. And that goal we conceded, poor defending. Where in the fuck was the marking? We definitely needed Harry Maguire then. If we did a mark then, he would have went absolutely ape shit. I'm glad he's on the bench, but my goodness sake, just defensively shite. The sooner we get another centre-back in, the better. It's been our story in the season. We just cannot fucking defend for Toffee. <sighs> heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. It's like so near, yet so far. I am as I said, the penalties are absolutely cracking. It was a nerve-wracking shootout. The Villarreal goalkeeper, what a penalty. But in the end, the pressure for David De Gea got too much. I still think maybe for the shootout, we should have put on Dean Henderson because David De Gea is not the best in the shootouts. I definitely would have bought on Dean Henderson, I think. But anyway...
It's a shitter, really is. I am absolutely heartbroken. Oh, <laughs> oh gutted, absolutely devastated to the max. Right, let's get on to player ratings, shall we? Danke de Gea. Four. I mean, honestly, I think on the first goal, he was at fault, you know. He didn't clear the ball enough, and obviously didn't help by Paul Pogba not clearing the ball. But four, you know, poor clearance and shocking final penalty. Not good enough by Danke de Gea. So four. Aaron Wambasaka seven. I thought at times he defended absolutely brilliantly. One of the star players out on the pitch tonight. Victor Lindelof five. Shocking defending. Eric Bailey five. Got himself a yellow card. Luke Shaw seven. Again, I thought he defended absolutely brilliantly. Scott McTominay, eight. My man of match. Set up Edison Cavani for the goal. Brilliant bit of skill. And by far, Scott McTominay, the best player out on the pitch tonight. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was giving Scott McTominay stick against Liverpool. But tonight, he was the man of match. He was absolutely phenomenal, I thought, tonight. Marcus Rashford. I thought, to be honest, that chance, you had to bury that chance. What the fuck, Marcus Rashford? Seriously, you should have buried that opportunity. Goal gaping, and he puts it wide. Fucking dog shit. Paul Pogba, six. Thought he did okay. Bruno Fernandes, six. I mean, you can't get him any higher. And a six because he wasn't really involved in the game, was he? Mason Greenwood. Six. Thought he did okay. Edson Cavani. Seven. Brilliant. And hats off to BT Swart airing this game. Free to air, but I'm sorry. Wow. Just so sharp. I don't get it. I really do not get it. How he left it so long to make substitutions. Questions seriously got to be asked about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but are not calling him to be to be sacked. I don't think for one minute he will be sacked. But I cannot back that tonight. Being so slow making substitutions. It's a fucking joke and a disgrace and a shambles in the name Manchester United badge. I mean, overall tonight, during the full 90 minutes, is a dog shit final. Not good enough. Just wow. Right, player ratings. Done the player ratings. Let's get on to manager ratings. Are you going to talk for his team selection? 8 out of 10. Very happy in the starting lineup. Now, Fred was on the bench. Now, he was starting Marcus Rashford. Going very attacking, but we just did not show it. Unai Emery for his team selection. 8 out of 10. Referee's performance tonight. 5 out of 10. I thought some of his decisions were shocking, the referee. But, you know, that's the player rating, son. Referee, referee rating, son. But I am absolutely well and truly devastated how we did so well on the shootout and then De Gea bottled it. I mean, to be fair, I guess goalkeepers aren't that great at taking penalties, but just, I got nothing left to say. At least we're in the Champions League for next season. That's one consolation. But imagine an all-English UEFA Super Cup final somewhere in Europe. And if they allowed fans in the stadium, the atmosphere that night would be absolutely buzzing. But sadly, not to be. Congratulations to Fede Real. But tonight, the reality is Manchester United, not good enough. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to be held accountable. I'm sorry, I cannot back that tonight. I really can't. I mean, I'm Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in, but 
massive, massive questions have got to be asked to why we have to stay late to make substitutions. Bye-bye. Fuck!